What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And we've got a lot of news lately kind of talking about seasons coming to the game. This is kind of going to be the same idea as the contraband stream within Black Ops 4. The kind of event system we had within Modern Warfare, or uh, call, excuse me, Call of Duty World War II. The same kind of concept as things like the Battle Pass and Fortnite and Apex. There's a lot of games that go to this kind of system now. There's a lot of games that are games you pay for. I can look at Battlefield 5. They have this kind of live service event or kind of live service stream. And that's kind of the same concept that Modern Warfare is going for. There's kind of this live service idea. Not only does it include different things, you know, like a, a battle pass, but it also includes, you know, free maps, free content for the game in general. And I kind of got to wondering what exactly this content will be. Now, I'm going to link this article that talks about this down in the description below. Now, this stuff was leaked. Some of this stuff was data mined from the PC version of the game. The reason this was all leaked because it was a screenshot of kind of the menu with one of these seasons kind of going on, you know, in the background. It kind of shows the season name. Keep this in mind. A lot of this stuff has been leaked. A lot of this stuff has been data mined. All of this may not be in the game when it comes out. Some of this may change. Anytime it comes to kind of rumors and, and, and stuff like that, I'm... You know, you can't always believe what you read. So just keep in mind, some of this may change. But like I said, I will link this article down in the description below. You can read over it for yourself and see what you think. But when I heard there were going to be different seasons coming to the game, it didn't really surprise me. I find that a lot of games do this now. Um, I can take Red Dead Redemption 2 online, a game that I play also. Just a few weeks back, they added a a system kind of like what you would have in Fortnite, kind of like what we have in Black Ops 4. A, a certain kind of battle pass where you can go get other items, whether it be cosmetic or, you know, skins or whatever the case may be. There's a lot of games going to this style system. So I can understand why my, uh, Modern Warfare, why Infinity Ward, why Activision would be doing something like this. I'm just really curious about a couple things. The first thing is... What kind of system will this be? Will it be like the contraband stream on Black Ops 4? Which I think was pretty good, but I think it did have a few flaws. The first one being when the game was first released, I'm sure most of you guys remember the contraband stream when it first came out. It had 200 different levels. That's a lot of playtime to be able to unlock everything. Then it went down to 100. And then I think kind of towards the end of Black Ops 4, you know, most of the levels you go through is about 50 within the contraband stream. But overall, I think it's going to be something they have to look at of kind of the amount of time everyone gets to play. Because not everyone gets to play the same amount of time. You know, not every person can play two hours a day, four hours a day, six hours a day, or, you know, so on. Some people may only get to play a couple hours a week. So it's kind of has to meet a happy medium, in my opinion. And that was kind of the same issue I had with Call of Duty World War II. They did it a bit different. They had events that went on. And while those events were going on, certain skins, certain weapons, certain, you know, whatever the case may be, was able, was uh, kind of able to be unlocked while that event was going on. But once that event was over, that stuff was locked back out. So players that didn't complete that event, didn't get everything out of that certain event, got kind of screwed. I do think it's unfair for people, like I said, that don't get to play a lot. Some people may have family stuff to do. Some people may have work stuff to do. Some people may not get to play all the time. And I feel if they have purchased the game, it is a bit unfair for them not to be able to unlock everything within the game. Now, if it's just cosmetic stuff, I don't think people get as upset about it. But when it comes to weapons being added in these systems, uh, I think that's where it gets a bit unfair. So hopefully Activision and Infinity Ward will look at that and try to figure out a way to make this a bit more of a fair kind of deal. But at the same time, I'm not quite sure what they're going to do. I do know one thing. I don't like weapons in these kind of live service streams. I don't like weapons in supply drops. And now while there has been rumored variants coming to Modern Warfare, none of that has been confirmed by anybody but just rumors. So kind of take that with a grain of salt until we hear some 100% confirmation. But I'm sure it's going to have some sort of supply drop system. I'm sure that, you know we have heard this about the season. So it looks like it's going to kind of be like the same system we have within Black Ops 4. Like I said, it's just going to depend on what is in this and if it is fair to everyone or not. I, like I said, I'm not a big fan of weapon, weapons being added. I, I feel if you have purchased a game like Call of Duty, um, you should be able to get all the weapons. You know, If any weapon is released, I think everyone should have access to that weapon. Now, maybe add in some challenges or something different to be able to unlock them, but I don't feel like it should be either locked in supply drops or locked in a live service kind of contraband stream. 
that you have to get done within a certain amount of time to be able to unlock them. So hopefully they will get some of that sorted out. At the same time, I'm kind of curious what else could be in it. We do know the operators will have different kind of skin variations. We have seen, you know, different pre-order versions of the game you can buy that gives the operators different skins. So that will be kind of a cool thing. Also, we have heard about blueprints coming to the game. So maybe that will be something that will be kind of in this as well. Uh, I'm sure some weapon camos will probably be in this as well. So, you know, if you have skins for characters, uh, skins for camos, I'm all up for that kind of cosmetic thing. I think those things are, are pretty interesting. A lot of people enjoy that. And plus, I'm sure there'll be a store in game where you also can buy stuff daily or weekly, you know, like a lot of games do also. I'm just hoping overall the season idea is fair to everyone. And also, I'm kind of hoping it's not a purchasable thing. It may not be. Black Ops 4 was not. Modern Warfare or Call of Duty World War II was not. But if you look at like Apex Legends, if you look at uh, Fortnite, if I look at Red Dead Redemption 2 online, those you have to go in and either purchase with real world money or uh, you know in game currency to get those kind of battle passes. I'm hoping Modern Warfare does not do something like that. I'm hoping it's just kind of the same system we had in Black Ops 4, Call of Duty World War II, where it's just you know once the certain stream of content is unlocked, everybody has access to it. But overall, I'm just kind of curious what you guys think. Are you interested in having these seasons in game? I do think it gives people something to grind for day in and day out, you know, when these, these kind of systems are up. But at the same time, I do feel like sometimes they can be unfair. Leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.